A 10-month-old male golden retriever was brought to Topara Vets as he had rashes and his stitches had broken down 7 days after new surgery. This video is an educational video about post-surgery complications and how to deal with them. In most surgeries, owners would sign a form to indicate their informed consent. This signifies that the owner has been informed of the risk from that particular surgery, such as risk of infection, bleeding, pain or death from anesthesia. The dog had been licking and using his e-collar to probe his wound and the area around it. This caused some of his stitches to break down and his wound to be infected. Such post-surgery complications are more prevalent in big dogs like golden retrievers. This could be because dogs generally like to lie on their bellies and the heavier weight of the bigger dogs cause a greater pressure to be exerted on the wound. This may cause bigger dogs to be more sensitive to the pain from the wound. 20% of calculated dose, nomitor plus ketamine IV, wound is cleaned and uh, stitches have been removed. To treat the broken stitches, the remaining stitches were removed. Alternatively, wound could also be restitched. The dog only has 5 minutes of sedation. It will wake up quite fast. So after washing, it will shave off the hair. They wash all this due to the licking. And uh, these rashes are due to the dog licking uh, and the e-collar bruising. Uh, this is very common in uh, big breeds. So, so uh, they are more sensitive to post-op pain or irritation, but uh, overall the, the wound is still in good. The wound is, is uh, closed and uh, you should heal by just simple daily washing and applying up the cream. Dog goes home and it's still sleeping like yes. e collar for the next two days. Such complications could also mean that the dog was given insufficient painkillers. However, the dog might also have vomited the painkillers out if his stomach was not used to the painkillers. In this case, the painkillers would not take effect. The stitches of the dog were removed and the dog was given more painkillers to prevent the dog from further licking the infected area. To treat the infection, the dog was given an antibiotic injection and an antiseptic wash to clean the wound. Other possible complications may include allergy to the medication. In such cases, the medication would be changed. In conclusion, the dog will be able to remove his e-collar after two days as he should not be sensitive to the pain after eating the painkillers. He was also advised to wash and rinse with separate pieces of facial cotton twice a day for the next 10 days. The wound also needs to be kept clean and dry away from flies for a speedy recovery. Mm. Now. This part is the part which was infected due to the leaking. Uh. Correct, correct. Uh, the so, yellow portion. Uh. Uh, the leak. Uh. Mm. So you wash it with the, the antiseptic. Mm. Then after that you rinse it off with the water. Then after that you apply the cream which I give you. Uh. Mm. This part are all due to its leaking. Uh. The rash. Uh. Uh, the antibodies will take care of it. Really. Okay, okay. Uh, so this one there is no bleeding. Then. Yeah, that's quite fine. Clean, uh. okay. Uh. Okay.